There's no rule that says you can't do that. That's the great thing about filming. What's up everyone, how's it going? Today's entire video is going to be filmed on the Removu K1, which is a three axis stabilizer with a built-in camera. But real soon, I have a full in-depth review coming, but let's get exploring. I'll be saving a lot of the talk about the features and stuff for the review, but this will be more so you can just kind of visually see what type of footage you could get with this contraption. The review is going to be really fun, but I'm starting off today with a little with a, with a coffee smoothie, but instead of having normal peanut butter, I have some powdered peanut butter, and it's almost like instead of just tasting the peanut butter, you can also feel it because it's uh, powdered peanut butter, so you taste the little teeny pieces. But finish this up and be on our way. Here we go. We're going to be testing out some interesting angles with this little dude. It's going to be really fun. much enjoying this and I just came across let me just pass under this fence real quick I just passed a couple of horses right back there and there's two horses just hanging out chilling it's funny around here you'll, you'll I'm, I'm sure they belong to someone but animals and stuff they will just roam around alone without any owners or anything so those horses they may not even be supposed to be on that property but they could just be hanging out there to eat some snacks some grass so <laughs> Sometimes you'll be somewhere where you would not expect there to be a cow or a horse and you'll come across one that's just out cruising about. Sometimes in the middle of the road, sometimes on someone's property, but it's all fun. It's all good. Oh, look at the shape of it. It's like very weaved. It weaves through there, but it looks like a seat. So I'm going to try to sit there and see if it can hold my weight. I mean, I'm guessing it should. You can see the vine goes way up into the trees up there. But yeah, let's give it a go. Ooh. I don't think this is gonna work. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. So it sort of holds my weight, but it's kind of coming loose up in the branches. So we'll move on from there. Turn around. Aha! that is the purpose of to get stable footage you know if you have a camera that's on a gimbal if you want to place it down to get a stationary shot there's no rule that says you can't do that that's the great thing about filming probably say okay there's one tree and then there's a second tree so there's two trees but check this out so here's the tree comes down here's the root the root goes right through there follow the root follow the root we're still on the same root 
the root comes this way, the root comes that way, and the root attaches to this tree. So what I'm guessing happened is the two trees were growing, the roots knocked in, ran into each other, and then they just merged. So technically, we have one humongous two-trunked tree. Pretty sweet. I've now come down to the beach because I want to do a wind test comparison. And right now I have the microphone that's plugged in with the micro muff on it. Now I'm going to take the wind guard off and see how this that sounds. Hey, what's up everyone? This is with the wind guard. Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is without the fluffy wind guard. I want to find out how big of a difference this makes. So I'm guessing this sounds really distorted. Ugh but I'm gonna place it back on one second. And I've now put the wind guard back onto the microphone. When there's this much wind coming at the mic, you're always gonna hear it a little bit, but the less least amount of wind you can hear, the better. That's a wrap for today, and I'd quickly like to give a shout out to Sam Twibble, who on my last video asked, how many movies have you made? And just on my YouTube channel, I've made around 400, give or take, but if you include videos that I've done for other people or from working with other groups of programmers or whatnot, I've probably made closer to 500 videos, and these are like videos that took multiple days to probably film and edit and all, all that stuff. So. I've made a lot of videos, but we're still counting. Today's positive quote was sent in by Sofia Ramos, and this quote is, what would you be doing if you weren't afraid? Well, if you asked me, I probably would be doing nothing because I probably would have done something really stupid in the past. So what this quote means to me is, I think it is very important to have a level of fear. Because if you have fear, then you, you'll think before you do stuff. You won't just go into any random thing that comes up without thinking about it. Whereas, you know, if you have too much fear, then you wouldn't, then you wouldn't want to do anything. And that's not necessarily a good thing as either. But having a little bit of fear, not too much, not too little, that is ideal. So thank you very much for the quote. Of course, thank you to Removu for sending me out this gimbal. I have a full in-depth review, as I said, coming out soon. Remember to keep us doing awesome stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.